what you do is I want you to find a spot where you can see me. I'm gonna, Mr. Gilbert, I'll have you right here. Any <laughs> room in front of you. So we're gonna start with that right leg forward. We're gonna go on to that left knee. Okay, we're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna set your wrist over by your left knee, you're gonna put your elbow on the ground, you're gonna put your shoulder on the ground, and you're gonna push. Wow, that was easy. We <laughs> did it, we're done. <laughs> That's all you're doing today. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've never had anybody do it on the first try. There's a, there's, a, there's a reason why I break this down so much now. That I start here. Oh yeah, make sure that chin is tucked all the way into your chest. That was that was because I don't want you to break your neck. But you're set. You're gonna put that wrist down by that left knee. Put that elbow down, shoulder down. You're just gonna roll right over that back. Sir, that's it. That's all you're doing today. Should you be going at an angle, or you should be going straight forward. Straight forward. So um, the key to that is you want to. We start on that roll on our right shoulder, and we want to end on that left butt cheek. Okay. It's going to roll diagonally. Right. Right. So that way yeah. you don't. Move. Yeah, that way you're going in that direction. Yeah. Because what's going on is, is you're rolling over it. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's, does it feel weird? Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time since I've done this one. Yeah. It's way before COVID. <laughs> so the first time you did it, did it does the world feel weird? Well, actually, not too bad. Okay, good. <laughs> Everybody always complains. First, it's like, I haven't been upside down in forever. <laughs> what is this feeling? <laughs> Everything just spins. What should you be doing with your other hand? Your left hand? Is this chamber? Or put it in your pocket, I guess. <laughs> Keep it out of the way. Oh, it's, yeah, usually it's just out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, I had not even thought about that. I, I think it's just chamber, kind of. Just well, I find myself like wanting to use it to help me. Oh. Like push yourself. Yeah, like kind of guide myself. Oh. Through. I do not think I use it to guide myself. But it felt kind of like weird. <clears throat> yeah. No, I don't think I used no. to guide myself. You did. You just kind of. Does my elbow hit? Yeah. But that just didn't hit. <laughs> Yeah, I can almost see you using it to guide yourself. I guess as long as you know what you're doing, like you're not like landing on it. Yeah. Try the other side now. Okay. You getting really good at it? Yeah, I'm standing here. Okay, I'm gonna mess you up. Sorry. <laughs> mess you up really bad. <laughs> Rip that left leg forward. I'm gonna take that right hand. I'm going to put that, I'm sorry, I'm going to take that left hand. Put that left wrist right in front of that right knee. You can tuck that chin in, put that elbow down, put the shoulder down. There you go. It felt weird, didn't it? Now it felt weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the top you can Yes. Okay, that's the top you can do. Right side, left side, left side. We're going to do that other side for a bit. <laughs> My son still does that really hard, like, oh. like when he lands, you know, yeah. he just loves like to be like a dinosaur. Oh. So. <laughs> well, what might just happening is you're gonna, your butt will be bruised. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've had, that's a terrible butt. Oh. <laughs> One time in football, yeah. I played quarterback in middle Ooh. school, and I didn't have my tailbone padded. Oh no. And I remember getting, I got sacked oh. on that spot. 
and like the weight of the guy and me, you know, all coming on my tailbone. Oh. Like hard dirt. Oh man, Ooh. that was was like top five most painful things I've ever felt. Cause that's like all your spine just yeah. feels that. Uh. Yeah, this feels not too much because I'm rolling into it. Yeah. You're rolling. This is uh, this is the diet roll. Um, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're falling, uh, if you can catch yourself, um, this is the best thing to do to, to keep yourself from, from getting in your if you're falling face forward. And to tuck that chin in as best you can and try to roll onto that shoulder. It's definitely going to be a lot harder when you do this from standing. I know, I'm, I'm already thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to do that today. We're, we're going to work our way into this. I remember these being like almost easier though when you go faster. Yeah, it's easy. when you're standing, it's easier when it goes faster. It's like a little smoother. But it's harder to learn. Yes, it's scary. Yeah. It's like the guys that say, oh, in order for me to learn how to do a backflip, just do a backflip as fast as you can. Do not hesitate. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't just do it. <laughs> this one at least we can we can start on the ground. <laughs> we can work our way up to it. One of the uh, one of the ways that I learned this was that um, if if my my right leg is forward. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to put my body into this empty space kind of that my leg is not occupying. So that's why my wrist also killed mm -hmm. go right there. Okay. So. Oh, that's a, that's a good question about the hand. Later the hand is going to do something. I thought so. Yeah. Because your, your hand is going to have to be ready to going to action. Right, right. Well, not, you're never like wasting what your hands are doing. No. So. Nelson, were you here whenever I had um, this guy roll for a knife? Yes. Okay. We like jumped over the pad. Jumped over the pad to grab a knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It may happen even in real life. You have to jump over a car, yeah. dive roll, grab a knife on the other side, and fight somebody. <laughs> this is getting you ready for that practical real world experience. <laughs> I'm ready to be a stuntman. <laughs> yeah. I could actually see that being somewhat realistic, like. Say like in a convenience store robbery, yeah. the knife gets knife gets knocked, knocked away. away. It's one of those things you have to practice a lot because you don't want to grab the blade. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your finger especially, right. especially when you're you're falling towards it. Right. <laughs> 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 okay. Good. Um, Take a short break. We'll come back out since you've already had this. We're gonna we're gonna start doing it from standing. Sir. Sir. That is the fastest I think I've had. No, I think you may have also been one of the ones that yeah, you might you might have also been part of the that section where I, I'm teaching it differently. You taught it exactly like this. Yes. Exactly. Now that you're going over it again, I remember. Yeah. Because I remember thinking, like, this feels weird. But then it just, like, it, it just, just unfolded. It, <laughs> it, 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 it seems so unorthodox, unconventional, unnatural. But this time around, like, I remember the first time, like, I felt, like, oh, like, achy. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that smooth. But this time it felt a lot, just like, yeah. it felt like a wheel. Yes. Like it's going to feel achy. <laughs> You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna wake up tomorrow sore. Um, like popping and stuff, you know. Yeah. Like, all of that. 
I yeah, I remember the first time I got tackled. Oh yeah. And it was just like, oh my goodness, yeah. everything in my spine, I can feel every single vertebrae mm -hmm. all the way up into my brain ring. And then the next time it happens, it's like, eh, yeah, not as bad. The resistance. Yeah. But it's that first time it's just like everything just doesn't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, we start with the uh, right foot? Right foot. Okay. Same exact thing we were doing before. We're gonna start with that cat stand. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna we're gonna make a wheel with this arm. We're gonna start by putting the back of your pant on the ground, and then the wrist, then the elbow, then the shoulder. Make sure that chin is tucked in, and then you're just gonna fall into the roll. That's what's gonna happen. Just like that. <laughs> so, so start here, put that hand down, <laughs> roll forever. Right? You've done it. You're standing. <laughs> OK, that's all you're going to do for the next two minutes. <laughs> the next time you fall, make a wheel with your arm, put that chin in, save your teeth. Slip <laughs> <laughs> on that ice. <laughs> so you use that uh, when you get there. Right? Oh, yes. I would much rather have my arms scraped up for like a week than to have brain damage. <laughs> there's or a viral, broken shoulder. There's a viral video that came out like a week ago. This chick, she wipes on a long board. Yeah. And she's like this like cute young girl. She's like yeah. probably like 16, you know? Yeah. And she like wipes out. And initially, like the video like, doesn't look that bad. Yeah. And she's like, flash forward, she's like in the ER. Yeah. All bruised up, and then she like she's like doing like a selfie, uh -huh. and she like opens the side and like oh her teeth got like chopped. Did you see it? Yeah. No. <laughs> her teeth got like chopped in half. Oh, it's oh. so bad. It was so bad. bad. Then she yeah, got that's, jacked up. That's why you need to learn how to fall. <laughs> we um, she fell so hard. We are we're gonna we're, we have to do a falling class. Well, like you said, just like even just putting your hand out, like it's better, much better to break a hand or a wrist, yeah, than it's, like bounce your head. It, it's going to depend. Um, your natural inclination is to want to put your hand out. Um, certain falls, you do not want to put your hand out. Sure. Your brain is going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, this one, your hand's going to want to do this, right? Which right. is the right. opposite of what you want. You, you want it, you want to go into the fall. Um, when we do our falling class, what we learn how to do is learn how to make the fall last longer. Mm -hmm. You never want the fall to immediately have, immediately stop. Right. I'll have to bring in my whiteboard and we can go over the calculus sign. <laughs> Relative yeah. velocity over delta time. Okay. So that's what it's long. <laughs> This should be the same thing where um, you're going to be able to roll from that shoulder to the, to the side of the butt. Um, there. Uh, the other thing that's going to make this a little easier, and this is and it's going to depend upon the person, is that is when you do the roll, you keep everything tucked in for as long as you can. Mm -hmm. If you um, if you do that roll and you flail, it's going to hurt a whole lot more. So if you keep those legs in through the roll. It's going to make it a lot easier. Okay. Um, if you live close to a park, you have access to a park. I do. Or a yard. I do. This is great. This works. Okay, this would work great right now with the ground super saturated. Mm -hmm. um, this, this, you can find some grass. The grass is going to be a little scratchy right now where it's long sleeves. Um, but usually a, a grassy area is a lot softer than this. So, um, and this is a great uh, exercise to do on grass. All right. Let's light up and bow out. Yes, sir. <clears throat>
beginner student and everybody else. Basket 